I wonder how many Mandy did catch. <laughs> Apart from her whale, a starfish, a crab. Is that all? <laughs> ah! Shark! Here's some. Go on, Penny, you better get down there. Lead on, Mandy. Oh, I hope the wheel is all right. Are you sure it's not a shark? Yes, it's a wheel. And wheels are gentle creatures, Norman. Sam, how are we going to get it back into the sea? High tide is hours away. Oh, I know. We can roll it in. It's too heavy, Norman. I get hurt, silly. It will be okay, won't it, Sam? Have I ever let you down, Mandy? No. We're going to need Neptune, Penny. Okay, Sam. Hello, Tom. Pretend you are putting out a big fire. I mean a really big one. Oh, ah, uh, like this? Could you maybe put a bit more oomph into it? Get out, fire! Get out! <laughs> That's it. Uh, what about using the fire axe next? I can slide down the pole if you'd like. <laughs> <gasps> Excellent. Good idea. Oh, good. <laughs> You'll soon be back where you belong. It's time now, Mandy. His cousin is lost in the mountains. Oh, the cake will have to wait. Boy lost in the mountains. Norman Price thinks he knows where he is. So, can you stop by the Cup Price supermarket and pick him up there? Taken Derek this way. He must be around here somewhere. We'd best turn the siren off in case he's calling for help. Help! 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 Oh, listen, I think I can hear him. That ledge is unstable. We'll have to get him off as quick as we can. We'll work as a team. It'll be just like when we rescued your key, Elvis. Only this time, I'll be the hook. Right, Elvis, you control the winch, and Penny, you give him directions. OK, Fireman Sam. OK, slowly, Elvis. He's nearly there. Perfect. 
Now, hold on to me, Derek. We'll be up in no time. Oh, thank you. He's got him, Elvis. Now bring him up. Nice and easy. There we are. Safe and sound. Norman, haven't you got something to say to Derek? Sorry, Derek. I made up the story about the flowers and I tricked you with the map. I just wanted Mum to think I was her only little treasure, not you. That's OK. I understand. It was quite fun, really. You forgive me? Ah! <laughs> cool! You've got a hand buzzer! Come on, you two jokers. Let's get you home. And let's get back to my cake. I really don't think you're well enough for this, Penny. Uh, perhaps I should go instead, sir. Sorry, Cridlington, but Penny's the expert here. She'll have to take Neptune. Look, I'll do this one last emergency. Then I'll go home. OK. I've never heard it so busy. It's no good, Radar. I can't stay away a moment longer. You can do this, Penny. You can do this. You can do it. Oh, it's no good. I'm putting everyone at risk. OK, Penny, just stay where you are. Help is on its way. Elvis, tell Tom to bring the helicopter down to the quayside. I'll get Sam to meet him there. Will do, sir. Sam! Yes, sir? Ah! What? Oh, my word, that was quick. I'm reporting for duty, sir. What's the emergency? Why has Neptune stopped? Something's wrong. What's the matter? Are you hurt? No. Um, I think I got a fever. Uh, uh, Let's get you off here. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. Penny's been taken ill. Oh. Will she be okay? She'll be fine. Now, let's get that propeller untangled and tow you back to shore. I'm so sorry. I should have stayed at home today. Though I admire your sense of duty, you risk putting yourselves and others in danger. I know. I won't do it again, sir. And I'm sorry, Sam, for calling you in on your day off. I was on my way in anyway. It's hard to stay away when you've got the best job in the world. You're right there, Sam. Sam Choo! Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> You're not scared, are you, Trevor? Because if you are, I could always go first and be the leader. No, Norman. I'll do it. Come, Trevor. You're not scared of heights. You can do this, boy. Mustn't let the kids down. Just attach the safety wire. OK, here I go. One, two, three. Oh! 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 Oh, no! Help! I'm stuck. Get me down. Oh, dear. Center and tell Tom. He'll call Fireman Sam. Hang on, Trevor! I'm going for help! Tom! Tom! Oh, no. I'd better try and call for help. Um, hello? Hello? Fireman Sam! Fireman Sam! 
Who's that? Norman Price! Norman Price? What are you playing at? Trevor's in trouble at the Mountain Rescue Centre. What? Trevor in trouble? OK, we're on our way. I can't hang on much longer. Fireman Sam is on his way. OK, Trevor, let go and we'll catch you. That was awesome! Are you all right, Trevor? Oh, I think so. Wow! A triple somersault! How cool is that? Wasn't Trevor brilliant? What do you think, Norman? I'm sorry I doubted you, Trevor. I just wanted to be the leader. I'm sure one day you will be, Norman. You know, I think you're the best leader we've ever had, uh, apart from Sam. <laughs> well, I don't like to blow my own trumpet. Oh, you forgot your packed lunch. Yay! Yay! So, how's it all be going then? Trevor was really brave, ma'am. You should have seen him up there on the zip wire. Oh, I missed all the fun. Do it again, Trevor. I'd love to see you in action. <laughs> the fuel tank's empty. It's a good job I keep a spare can in the cabin. I got one! <laughs> well, um, really did then station officer steal? Stay back, Charlie. I'll secure the area. Aim this at the base of the fire. Good work, Charlie. Ooh, the engine's burnt out. Looks like we'll have to call for help. Fire at sea? Charlie and Station Officer Steele adrift. You're with me, Penny. You stay here and man the station, Elvis. There's a fire at sea. OK, Sam. Good luck. Charlie, what happened here, then? It's all my fault, I'm afraid, Sam. You may not be the best sailor in the world, but when we needed a calm head in a crisis, you were the man for the job. <laughs> oh. And it looks like you've got to catch. Ooh. What a whopper! Yes, took an age to land it. Why don't you bring it back to the cafe? There's enough for everyone. <gasps> Great idea. I just called Elvis. He said there was an emergency. I'm ready and able. Oh, I wish the same could be said for my van. It, it's the best. I'm stranded on the beach at Club Scuttle Cove, and, 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 and the tide's coming in fast. Okay, Penny and I will take Jupiter.
Contact Tom and tell him we'll meet him there. <laughs> Leave it to me, Sam. And well done, Elvis. Nice work. We'll make a station officer of you yet. Station Officer Cridlington. I like it. Maybe we should swim for it. Absolutely not. That's far too risky. We'll stay put and wait for help. In 200 yards, stay put and... Everybody, Sam will be here very soon. Oh, my belly. Maybe he's seasick. Oh, my poor precious puppet. Aha! It's Tom Thomas. Help is at hand. Come in, Tom. Good night, Sam. Send down the winch. The bus is nearly underwater. We're going to have to lift everyone off. No problem. I'm lowering the double harness now. Right here, Mandy. You first. Don't be frightened. Frightened? This is awesome. That's it, Tom. Steady now. Cool. I'll go back for the others. Soon have everyone safe and secure. Good work, Sam. Yeah. OK. That's the last one, Tom. Good job. Thanks, Sam. Over and out. That silly satellite navigation system must be faulty or something. You see? You just can't trust all these newfangled gizmos. But we'd never have been rescued without our mobile phones. Well, well apart from mobile phones. What about our walkie-talkies, sir? Yeah, well, obviously, apart from mobile phones and walkie-talkies, but don't you have a computer back at the fire station? Well, yes, yes. Oh, I suppose some modern gadgets do have their uses. Until they pack up and land you in trouble. Oh, I'm sorry, Station Officer Steele. Maybe we should have stuck to your good old-fashioned map. Oh, yes. Well, put it there, is it, eh? And never. Help! Oh, listen! Someone's shouting! I better call Fireman Sam. Ooh, an emergency flare from the cliffs. Tom has sighted an emergency flare, Sam. Somebody must be in trouble on the cliffs. Tom will be there in the chopper. Goodness, there's Tom. Here's Fireman Sam! It's Penny! She's stuck at the cliff! You have to help her! Don't worry, Mandy. We'll save her. Tom, lower the double harness! No worry, Sam. Come right up. I'll, I'll make down.
OK, Tom. Take it up. Slowly now. And well done for not letting it off. Congratulations, Mandy. You're a hero. <sighs> a compost heap fire of the floods. It's just you and me, Sam. The others have gone to the flower and vegetable show. That's where we're going, too. Everyone, leave it to the professionals. Sam and Penny are on their way. Stop that now! Sam and Penny. I had no idea a compost heap could be so dangerous. That's why I advised Mike to dig it over and let it cool down. Mike? Uh, yes, it's true. Mandy kept reminding me too, but I wouldn't listen. I suppose I thought I knew better. But how come the fire started all by itself? When Mike picked the marrow, it created a hole, you see. The compost was already very hot, and when air got into the hole, it started the fire. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I so wanted this show to be a success, and now I've ruined everything. No, you haven't, Dad. I love you, kid. The flowers and vegetables are still intact, aren't they? Oh, yes, sir. Apart from Mrs. DeMarco. Great! Then let's get on with the judging. The winner is... The Mustard and Cress, grown by James and Sarah. Yay! Yay! But that's not all. There's an extra prize for the funniest entry. <laughs> the stuck-on tomato plant in the fire bucket. <laughs> Who won that prize, then? Uh, you did, I'm afraid, sir. I'm ever so sorry, but I had a bit of an accident. You what? Oh, Cridlington. <laughs> 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 Sam! Stop! What's the emergency? There's some trees on fire in the forest. We're worried it might spread. Oh, it sounds serious. Maybe I should come along and help. Well, what about your TV show? Uh, I'm a fireman first, remember? Fireman Sam! And here comes Tom! Cool! Everybody okay? I'm feeling a bit weak. A sandwich might help. Oh, not now, Norman. I guess it's too late to get to your TV show now. Not if you go by helicopter. Jump in, Elvis! Wow, fantastic. Just like a real superstar. Elvis, wait! Don't forget this. Good luck. We'll all be watching you. Thanks. 
I'll be back on duty tomorrow morning. Ah! That rat is birds eating all my sandwiches. <gasps> it's a scarlet crested waggle warbler. <gasps> Don't move, Norman. This one's for all my pals back in Ponty Pandy. Uh, especially Fireman Sam and Penny and, of course, Station Officer Steele. The best workmates in the world. Did you hear that, everyone? He said my name. I sing my song still. I think I'll burst. But I never forget that I'm a fireman first. A tingling, a tingling, just one more burst. Everybody knows that I'm a fireman first. <laughs> oh, that's my boy. <laughs> it's an emergency. There's a high-rise fire. But never fear, here comes Sam, Penny, and Elvis to the rescue. Ooh. <laughs> This is awesome! Shove up, James. Let's get a bit closer. I can't move. They'll be needing aerial assistance. Aha! Oh, Thomas, it is helicopter! There's two boys on the roof! Looks like they're in trouble. Elvis, we'll need to use Jupiter's ladder for this one. Oh! It's my Norman! And my James! Ah! <gasps> okay, we'll soon have you back where you belong, boys. In a harness of shame, ladies and gentlemen, it's Norman Price. Oh, what were you doing up there? Well, James? Sorry. It was my idea. I thought we'd get a better view of the rooftop rescue. You became the rooftop rescue. So there you have it. The reason we put safety first. Fire stations can be dangerous places for little boys. Well done, sir. Your open day was a real success. Yes. <laughs> Radar really has mangled that boot. I wonder whose it is. Uh, it's one of yours, sir. Uh -uh. My boots? My boots were used? But how? Red leg turn! Sorry, sir. Elvis has left the building. I'm calling Fireman Sam. Trouble out at sea. Another one. Great fires of London.
Norman, Dillis and Charlie are drifting in the bay. G hold on. And Station Officer Steele is stuck on the flood's roof. Oh, oh dear. I wonder if he's been trying to fly his kite. <laughs> Penny and I will take Venus and launch Neptune. Elvis, you take Jupiter and go to the floods. Right too, Sam. <laughs> I can see them. Let's go. Oh, at last. It's Penny and Sam. I'll sort the dinghy out, Penny. And I'll tow Charlie's boat. Norman, throw me your rope and I'll tie you to Charlie's boat. OK, Sam. And I'll tie you to Neptune, Charlie. We should be ashore in no time. Oh, I can't wait to get my feet back on dry land. Don't worry, sir. I'll have you down in a jiffy. Uh, here we go. I'll hold it steady. Are you all right, Station Officer Steele? Of course I'm all right. I'm fine. All in a day's work, you know. Uh, testing out this kite. <gasps> oh! He must have climbed out! Oh, the silly boy! <laughs> oh! Hey, Lion! What are you doing out here? Ah, there you go. Now, where's Woolly? Huh? Ha ha! Don't worry, Woolly. Norman done his way. I see no sheep. Norman! But I can hear Dillis. Norman! Help! My Norman's disappeared. You don't think he's gone looking for Woolly, do you? Oh, you know how he loves that sheep. Fear not, Dillis. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, uh, I'm sure Penny and Elvis will find him. I'll stay here oh, and keep you company, eh? Oh, thanks, Trevor. But Norman needs me. I'm coming too. Um, OK, Dillis, but you'll have to wear a life jacket. Penny to Sam. I'm going to need your help. Norman Price is out in the flood water. I'm guessing by the field. Right. Uh, I'll stay here then. Keep a lookout for lions, Sam. I will, Bronwyn. I will. Okay. All aboard. Budge up there, lion. I'll soon have you safe and sound. Um, now, keep still, everyone. Oh, um, uh, hey! What? Whoa! Ah! 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 come back! Boy overboard! Shall we take another sweep of the area, Sam? No need. Down there, look. Sam to Penny. Norman is in Breaker's Field. He's in the water. As quick as you can. Thanks, Sam. Ah, Mom! Mom! Oh, my son can thread. There you go, Norman. Where's Wooly? If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help.